Hi guys, Veena this side. So today I want to talk about how the content is saved in the repository. So we start developing, we write components, we uh, develop components, we write code like properties dot whatever property name and we uh, fetch the content and display it on the screen. So this is the basic, a basic thing or routine we all know as a developer, right? Like not all i'm saying like freshly trained so sometimes what happens they don't uh, spend time in understanding how this data is saved where this data is saved and how this is uh, you know retrieved and displayed on the screen today i specifically want to talk about how this content gets saved in the repository like in what format how that is retrieved in what format it gets saved in the repository is what I'm I actually want to stress today. Uh, because um, at many times when people get newly trained in AEM, they they don't understand where the content actually gets saved in the repository. They just uh, they just know that okay, I author the content, the content gets saved, and you know when I write properties dot something something, it retrieves the data and displays it on the screen. That's not exactly what happens. So what happens in the back and how the content, where the content gets saved in the repository is what I wanted to stress today. So um, so as, as we all know, AEM has its own content repository. So it, it doesn't have, it doesn't depend on a database. So it's not like the traditional um, systems where you write your, you save your data in a uh, RDBMS or uh, any file system. Uh, Basically, AEM's content repository is a combination of a file system or a database in the way we query the system, but it is um, a content repository on its own uh, based on Java content repository standard. Okay, let's go to the content repository. CRX slash explorer. You can either go here. You can, if it is saying login, you just give, click on login and give your username password, and just click on this. This is your, this is your, you know, graphical view of your content repository, right? So all your contents, whether your components, whether your anything here, you know, your code, your your components you created, the content you created, everything gets saved in this repository as nodes and corresponding properties okay so this is a node and every node has a corresponding property of any node is defined using a property called primary type of that node and um, it has additional properties like for example if you have a page and you have to save your creating a component and you are um, authoring that component then that component's content gets saved in your repository in this format as a node and its property correct so let's let's say let's say i want to create a, um, let's choose one component okay let's say i want to create a title component now i i clicked plus symbol added my title component or i drag and drop it from the sidebar right um or side panel okay, now you go to your content okay, what now what i do is i'll just um open this in the tab it will be really easy for me so now what we go do is i just want to check when i drag and drop my component what happens in the repository so as soon as i drag and drop a component i'm just going to that node so you take this resource path which is before your dot first dot that's your resource path you take that path put it in your repository click and enter so when you see here, you can see that a title node has been created. Now you see a lot of properties in this node. So it's like the resource type, the modified date, the primary type, right? Now, when I go edit this component, 
I'll just say sample whatever one two three I just authored some value I'll say OK now I'll go back here refresh this node and then you can go back to your component and you can see that whatever value you gave has come here so it's just a simple simple idea that all your content gets saved in the repository as a node and its corresponding properties in the repository very simple right okay so one thing which i actually forgot to mention all along was how that value get like what is that property and value combination right property in this case will be the name you give to the uh, field you are authoring and the value will be the one which you have entered while authoring okay let's check uh, in case of our component right so uh, i have actually used a component from the uh, wknd sample project which adobe has provided so i have used a um, title component from this uh, project so what I'm going to do is I'll just open this and you can see that um, it doesn't have any, you know, um, scripts or anything. So ba basically um, it is rendering from the super type. So we have to go to the super type core WCM components um, title. Let's go there and we do version title so now when you come to this component and you go to the dialogue of this component you can actually see just go to the uh, the field which we are talking about so um, we have a title field so in this title field when you come and see you see a property by the name jcr title so whenever the content gets saved it uses that name as your property and when you edit or author this component whatever value you are authoring will get saved in your repository okay under that particular property so if you go and check your title so i authored it so under jci title it got saved so your no your field name value is the property name and whatever you enter or the author enters will be the value or the content which is getting saved for that property okay it's same for every every field and every uh, component the one thing which you have to be very careful while naming a field is always make sure to use dot slash which will point to your current node dot slash okay if you don't have dot slash it will not save the content or the property 